Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike and I'm back. I know it's been a, it's been a long time. I just haven't had time to, to make these videos and I also um, haven't really had too many good ideas. But if you want to uh, keep track of me, you can follow me on Twitter. You can check out my main channel um, where I put into practice all of these great effects. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how to get, kind of do this rotating kind of retro cube. It kind of has like a mesh effect. You know, you could add it to like a computer screen. It kind of makes it look like, you know, an, an, a 60s interpretation of the future or something like that. Um, yeah, whatever. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I kind of showed you how to connect this cube before, but I'm just going to kind of show you this time how to uh, make the the grid. So we start out in Illustrator and we start out with a rectangle tool. Uh, you want this composition to be square. So whether it be 800 by 800, 500 by 500, it doesn't really matter. Just make it square. Um, and you just want to start out by making a rectangle in the composition and I'm just gonna make sure it's it's in the center by aligning it um, it's probably good but uh, you never know I'm just gonna increase the stroke of the outside so if you see here um, what we want to do is we want to control C and control V just duplicate this this twice um, and basically we just want to align all of them into the center now I'm gonna break these into their own layers um, just so I can manipulate them later and it's a little easier to control them so the bottom one I'm going to leave and we're going to work our way up. So for this one, I'm going to select it, go to object. Um, let's see, object path, split into grid. You might want to do three. So this will give me a three by three square. And then I'm going to select top one, object, path, split into grid. And this one I'm going to do 12 by 12 so basically each of the three squares will then have four squares inside hit OK so this is where we're at I'm just gonna grab these these larger ones and I'm gonna maybe make these like five grab the second largest ones and make these like maybe ten so it kind of gives it like you know a little bit of a, of a more gritty look you could do it however you want you could, you could do these as thick or as thin as you want uh, to be honest so so that's that now I'm just gonna save this uh, make sure selecting all of these make sure that there's no color on the inside there's no fill there's only an outline so I'm just gonna file save this as and I'm gonna save this just to my desktop as um, grid you can name it whatever you want um, and I am saving this as an as an illustrator file and now we're gonna jump into After Effects and I just have a standard composition here. I'm just going to add a background. Uh, we'll make a nice dark background. A little bit darker than the current background so we can see a little contrast. And then I'm just going to go and I'm going to find my cube wherever I saved it. Right here. Couldn't see for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Um, I want to make sure that this is set to composition. Hit OK and drag this right into there. So actually before I do that, I'm gonna take this, drag this into its own composition uh, right here and I'm gonna change this composition settings to, I don't know, 19 by 1080. And then I'm going to make this a 3D object, hit this button so it gives us the best quality and duplicate this so I need one on the front, the back, the two sides, the top and the bottom. All right, so now we could start rotating these in a fashion that makes the most sense. So I'm actually gonna open all these, press R on the keyboard, go to rotation. Um, so I need two rotated 90 in the X direction. So this will give me the top and the bottom. Uh, we have one in the front, we have one in the back already, so we can close these. These I want to rotate in the Y direction by 90. And we're good. So we're ready to get started starting to connect these all together. So I'm going to come over here to like uh, four views. So this basically gives me like the top, bottom, left and right. It just makes it a little bit easier. Um, and I'm going to start naming these. So this I'm going to rename top, uh, this one I'm going to rename bottom, 
going to rename front. I'm going to rename back. And these will be left and right. This just makes it a little bit easier. You know, I mean, if you can keep track of it, good for you. I can't. Okay, so they're, they're all named. I'm just going to do this only in one view because I confuse the crap out of myself when I try to do it the other way. So I'm just going to create a new null object, parent all of these to it, make it a 3D object, and start kind of twisting this. Why is it not rotating? Oh, okay. I know what's going on. I have to open this layer and I have to make these 3D. That's why. So now, now it worked. Basically, um, if you make this 3D, then the subcomp also has to be 3D. So now that this is all 3D, we could actually start seeing what we're working with. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see. Just start making these more visible. So we have the top and the bottom. So this is the top. That's the bottom. We have the front, which I'll move up front. We have the back. If you know an easier way to do this, please let me know. We have the left. And then we have the right. So what I'm going to do here is starting from the right corner, I'm going to move this center point to the corner there. I'm going to grab this cube, move the center point to that corner. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, this front and I'm going to move the center point to the bottom here, actually. I'm going to move the center point of the bottom one to this corner, center point of this to that corner, and now I'm going to start just snapping these together. They, they will automatically snap into position. The top here, obviously going to move the center point to the corner. See if it snaps. It won't. But I can just come over here and use this one as a guide. Just drag this one up to the corner. And that way I could use that as a, uh, as a marker there. That looks like they're all matched up right. So again, I'm going to use this as, a, as an easy marker. Drag this to this corner. Move this one up to this corner. Match it up. Move this one again to that corner, to that corner. And that's just kind of the easiest way to do it, to be honest. Um, so let's see, when I scale this, I'm going to rotate this back to center. And now what I want to do is I want to unparent all of these because they're all kind of, to be honest, not really in the center because I've been moving it around so much. So I'm going to parent all of these to the front. Align the front. Ooh, you can't align 3D layers. Back up. We won't do that. Okay. Um we'll 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 leave them we'll leave them them paired, but what we'll do is we'll move the front here. Uh, add some grid lines. Oh, too strong. Let's uh, proportional grid. And basically, come in, move this center point to the center of, of the cube, and then match this up with the center of the composition. So that looks about centered. Be down a couple, a couple points. Should be centered that way. Now, uh, let's see, from the, from the left, 
can make sure it's centered front and back wise and it looks pretty center so we'll go back to the front all right the active camera and uh, and we should be able to match all of these to the null and now that should give us a pretty reasonably good rotating cube so now we have the rotating cube in I, I know it kind of seems like a lot of work but it's really not um, when I bring the when I bring the grid onto this composition, uh, you can you could you could add some coloration to it. Um, effect generate fill. So we could turn this to like a maybe almost like a neon blue type coloring. You could add some glow to it. Uh, my effects panels down here. some glow uh, and, you know the radius you could just mess with the settings here and then from this layer now you just add some control so you could add some keyframes here by the way I'm pressing R on the keyboard to open up the rotations set keyframes and basically just mess with these until you have something that, that you like a lot um, then from here let me turn this down now from here you have something that kind of is the nice little futuristic looking rotating cube now you could add you know some motion blur um, press this and it'll give you some some better effects and that's kind of a, a cool little rotating revolving cube if you know a better way to make cubes let me know because it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you just kind of got to just snap them together piece by piece and hopefully they come out right. So that's that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Check back next Wednesday for another tutorial. Anyways, guys, it's been Mike. Thanks for watching.